Hello and welcome to The Hybrid Soul with Kelly Kincaid, your destination for R&B discovery. Thank you for coming back and joining me for the top 10 songs this week. We have new music from Jabari, Avery Wilson, Mary J. Blige, Janae Aiko, and more. My special guest today is Alex Isley. Let's get this countdown started with a friend of the show. You've heard her talk about her life and her music coming from Philadelphia. Here's Kenya Vaughn with her new song, Used To, right here on Taste. I'm used to guys in flashy whips. I'm used to lies. Taste. 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 Today, my guest is why we do this show, The Hybrid Soul, because we are the destination for R&B discovery. And today, I'd like to welcome my guest, Alex Isley. How are you doing today? Hi, Kelly. I'm great. I'm doing wonderful. How are you? Good, good. You know, when we hear your name, uh, of course, if you're music lovers and you hear the last name, the first question we go, Isley, is she related to the Isley brothers? So please tell us your affiliation with that musical family. Yes. Okay. Um, they are all brothers, so I'm related to all of them. Yes, yes, um, yes. But Ernie, the guitar player, is my dad. And then everyone else there are my uncles. Amazing. So. Amazing. <laughs> um, and I think what what I love about you, Alex, you come from this, uh, you have that fan base because I'm, I'm a person who is into discovery. And I heard your beautiful voice uh, a while ago on your song, Orbit, Into Orbit. And then I also, in doing my research, you know, I wanted to find out one of the first songs um, I also discovered was Forum. How did, um, with the Orbit song, how did you all connect? That was, that was a while ago. That was a few years ago. Yeah. Um, and he had contacted my management and um, just expressed how much he loved Into Orbit and wanted to use it. And so we just went from there. And um, he, uh, the way he flipped it was just really beautiful. I mean, I love sampling and the art of that. So, yeah. um, I mean, I love, I love that song. Yes, coming from such a musical family with so many years of history in the music industry, uh, was uh, you stepping into the music industry? Was that something that you all always knew you were going to do? Um, how, how how did you know that that's what you wanted to do? I always knew. I've just had a passion to perform ever since I was like four or five years old. Um, so yeah, I always knew that this was what I wanted to do. I think once I graduated college, mm -hmm. I I had more of a vision and a handle on how to go about things. I mean, still a lot that I had to learn at that point, and I'm and I'm still learning now. But at college, I in college I had my first computer, I had GarageBand, I had a mic so I could get an idea of how I sounded, you know, on record. And so that was kind of the beginning of me stepping into where I am now. Uh, and I, I want to acknowledge, like, you really took it serious uh, because you have a degree in d jazz studies, correct? I do, yeah. That's amazing. When I hear your music, I actually can, uh, I hear all that, all the jazz um, in your voice, um, the melodic tones and stuff. Uh, as a jazz major, who are some of your musical influences as, as far as when you first started? So I first started really singing jazz in high school. Um, a vocal jazz ensemble was really my introduction to that. Um, Ella Fitzgerald, I think, was the first person that I really dove into. Mm -hmm. um, I love Sarah Vaughn. I love um, Carmen McRae, Nancy Wilson, um, Lambert Hendricks and Ross, um, even newer people like Kurt Elling. And um, so, but Ella was the introduction I think vocally for me oh that's beautiful and um not only are you a singer you're an arranger a songwriter and you've worked with many people and uh in my in my prepping for my interview today I talked to my good friend Knife Wonder and he told me something he's like we got a whole project together and I we said <laughs> and I said <laughs> let me ask this are y'all holding out 
you know, tell me about your experience working with uh, A Ninth Wonder. I am trying to remember how that actually came to, <laughs> to happen. I think we just connected online. I honestly don't remember because this was a few years ago yes. and in the height of the pandemic 2020 was when we really locked in and mm -hmm. just were bouncing stuff back and forth and um that was a full circle moment for me because i really got into ninth and little brother when i was in college and i just really wanted to work with i wanted to work with ninth and and his yeah. production so um I'm, I'm, I'm excited for what we've done. More with Alex Isley coming up on The Hybrid Soul with Kelly Kincaid. Here's our first bonus song coming from her project, I Left My Heart in Ladera with Terrace Martin. Here's Paradise, right here on Taste. The Hybrid Soul with Kelly Kincaid. That was number six from his new project, American Dream. Prove it. 21 Savage featuring Summer Walker. Now here's more of my interview with Alex Isley. Uh, working with a lot of people in hip hop, because you've worked with Sir, um, you've also worked with Roddy Rich. How is it with that musical community, um, just finding people that you want to work with? So for Roddy, I was actually um, hit up by Ty Dolla, who that's my guy. And um, it was him and I in a session. And he, um, I mean, he's, I don't know if, if people like really know his musicality, like he's a musician. Yeah. And um, just so versatile in what he does. And so that was really easy to just vocally do what I, what I did, um, you know, with what he had already laid down. So um that's how the Roddy feature came but yeah. um there's so much music there's so much music and musicality within hip hop so um there's definitely something to appreciate and um and to respect so I love working with I mean I'm versatile when it comes to who I listen to and who I'm inspired by so I love yeah. working with you know like a, a bunch of people you know whoever right. I'm just open so Right. Will we ever hear you spit something like rhyme wise? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh not a not a chance, no. <laughs> that, that is not my skill set. <laughs> I'm looking forward to um uh you know coming from the big the catalog from the Isley Brothers. I know you did a cover of At Your Best. Uh mm -hmm. are there any other songs in the future that we would hear you? Because I, I hear you do a lot of different covers, but as far as like with your father's music. You know, I don't know if I, um, cause there's so much in their catalog yeah. uh, to choose from. So I don't know. I would love to, to visit that and, and think about what I would, what I would like to do next, but I don't know. It's, it's hard to, it's hard to choose. <laughs> you, you could do like, you know how Natalie Cole did that whole album? Like they have some yeah. kind of like, you could just do a whole EP or album of the Isley Brothers songs and nail it. <laughs> <laughs> one one first, day, right? <laughs> that would be crazy to do, but <laughs> that would be um, that would be fun. Yes. What instruments do you play? Play? I play some keys. Um, I learned uh, what I know as far as piano. I learned that in college, and just um, learning seventh chords, jazz chords. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I play keys. I would like to. I've started the guitar so that's a okay. very that's a hard one but I am going to get I'm going to get some chords down on guitar in one way or another I'm gonna learn what's your musical process as far as just write writing is it a daily thing uh what's your inspiration when you're putting music together when I'm writing I just try to really be in the moment of how I'm feeling or what it is that I want to convey uh mm -hmm. I don't think I really I don't think I really have a process but I like that I don't. I like that it's kind of unpredictable as far as like when inspiration hits me and 2020 really, um, 2020 really uh, was the time when I reminded myself like it's okay to not be productive every single second. Like yeah. rest, rest and take care of myself. Um, so I don't force it. 
when I but when I am inspired, if I have my phone, I'll do a voice memo. If I can write something down lyrically that I have, then I'll do that. But um, I just try to be in the moment and um, be vulnerable and be open to what it is that I feel. Do you ever feel pressured as far as when you see other artists out cranking out music? Do you feel pressured as far as uh, releasing music like continuously? I think sometimes, yeah. Um, but then I remember, um, you know, when people online will be like, what's next? Like, when are you dropping new music? I know it's it's because they they like and support what I do. So I'm really grateful for that. But I just, I just got to stay within myself and, and remind myself, like, quality. Quality is priority. Yeah. Um, at the end of the day, I don't want to just put out stuff, like, every other day and it's not quality. Um, it's not something that I'm, I'm proud of or that I feel ready to share. So, um, yeah, that pressure hits sometimes. But. Yeah. More with Alex Isley coming up on The Hybrid Soul with Kelly Kincaid. Here's another bonus coming from new artist Destin Conrad featuring Alex Isley. Same mistake right here on Taste. Soul with Kelly Kincaid. That was number five from Ari Lennox. Get close. Here's more with Alex Isley. I get this, uh, you, you seem um, this calm energy around you. Like, does Alex ever get like turned up? Like, <laughs> on stage, is there like an alter ego when you're performing? <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know, honestly, because I don't really, I don't really watch playback of me performing so I don't know yeah. I, that's another place where I just really I'm just in the moment so I may I, I feel like I am a little more just open and, and I don't know if I'm ever turned up per se but <laughs> I might be <laughs> look check me out on the next project <laughs> that's funny uh working with um and I, I keep on going back to this music community um I'm a friend of Glasper, Rob Glasper. That's uh, the song that you have uh, with uh, the Still song. Um, I love, that's probably Still Wonder. That's one of my favorite songs. I feel like you got into one of my, uh, one of my sessions of uh, kind of mourning a heartbreak. And I'm like, how does she know to write these words? That's something that I could have told uh, that person. Um, where did where did that come from those lyrics and working with it, rob it came from experience <laughs> um, <laughs> to listen because <laughs> i can relate um but i again i was just in the moment of i wasn't grieving per se i wasn't grieving anything at the time that i was writing but i, yeah. I tapped into i had felt that way at some point in my life and so i tapped into that moment um, behind me like how did I feel in this moment of reflection of missing somebody um, and so that's but it came from experience and um, I remember that day Jack and I were Jack and I had gotten a rough version of everything like everything vocally I think was was pretty much done and there was all this open space at the end and I was like it would be cool to do have somebody like solo or something and then I was like what if I call Robert and Jack was like, you think he would do it? And I was like, it would be amazing if he did. Let's see. And so, and Robert, that's, that's like my brother. He, Robert was very much just like, whatever you need, I'm here. And, yeah. um, I mean, just put his, you know, his signature on it at the end. It's just, ah, it's beautiful. It tops it off. It, um, uh, being in the studio, I would, that's a session that I would love, love to sit in and just hear that hear him put his sauce on it, hear the mix, all of it coming together. Um, and I'm curious as far as um, you worked with Terrace Martin, um, how was that process working with him in the studio? Cause you've done a couple of things with him. 
yeah terrace is another one who's like terrace is like a big brother to me um yeah. very much a mentor and um us both being from the west coast um growing up here being really from here and just someone that i really admire and respect and um so working with him is just that's that's another one it's just it's just very easy and yeah. organic when we create so uh, and far as this current project miracle what's your favorite song off this project oh gosh um i feel like it changes so it had i think my favorite song was um too bad i forget uh -huh. i think right now i think right now it's probably under the moon okay yes so it'll change in another few days probably always, <laughs> <laughs> always. what's been um at, when you released it what's been like your favorite responses from the fans and people maybe from your family fans what's been the best like oh thank you um all of it really yeah honestly um lately i've been seeing comments like alex is singing the way i would if i were in love or alex is is alex sings about how i want to feel being in love um so the the love part and the being in love and and them connecting that way like that's always really sweet but really all of the all of the comments and, and the feedback and the love is just it's amazing more with alex isley coming up on the hybrid soul with kelly kincaid Here's number four. If you're fans of the Peacock Bel Air show, check out actor and singer Jabari with something else. Hit me up and let me know what you think of this song at Kelly Kincaid, K-E-L-L-Y-K-I-N-K-A-I-D, right here on Taste. Tell me if it's love or it's something else. Tell me that it's mine and it's no one else. The Hybrid Soul with Kelly Kincaid, your destination for R&B discovery. That was number three from the duo, Mary J. Blige and Remy Ma, Gone Forever. As we wrap up my interview with Alex Isley. We're... Um, where do you see the evolution uh, from the start of your musical career till now? Where do you think that you've grown when putting out these projects? I think there was a there was a tremendous shift when I became a mom, and mm -hmm. so that was that was 2016. So that was between my luxury album and the Beauty of Everything Part One. So there's kind of a time. A time uh, gap in there, but so that was when I that was when I, I had my daughter, and um, aside from just getting back into myself or a newer version of myself, I you know I am I'm a mom, and so finding my groove with her, and and then I just became more intentional with my time and how I create, and um, so that really that shift really changed things for me. I can only imagine. <laughs> I can only imagine. <laughs> uh, and can we, where will we see Alex Isley perform uh, in the upcoming months? Uh, will you come on the West Coast overseas? What, what's in store for you? So uh, nothing that I can, I can announce, but um, I'm working on coming everywhere. Okay. <laughs> As soon as possible. I mean, um, West Coast definitely want to come everywhere on uh, the East Coast. I mean, everywhere, overseas, UK, uh, especially London. They show so much love there. I want to go to South Africa, like everywhere. Yeah. So I'm working on it all now. Fair. I, I'm looking forward <laughs> to it. I will. I will be in the stands or in on stage or on the floor watching this because it's a it's beautiful. It's a beautiful story, um, and I want to just thank you for just not stopping and keeping going, um, and continue to put out more music. And thank you for thank you again for having me. 
thank you. It's Alex Isley. Please support her. You can and let us know where they can follow you on social media. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, everywhere is at love Alex Isley. Here's my final bonus from today's guest. This song has two Grammy nominations for this upcoming ceremony. Here's Back to Love featuring Sir Alex Isley and Robert Glasper right here on Taste. We've been killed so many times before. Taste. Taste. The Hybrid Soul with Kelly Kincaid, your destination for R&B discovery. I'd like to thank my guest, Alex Isley, for joining me for such a great conversation. And I'd like to thank you for joining me and supporting me another week. We'll be back same time, same place. Tell a friend to join us. It's simple. Download the Dash Radio app, and turn to taste. Our number one song this week goes to Wadmore, who are the sons of R&B legend, Boyz II Men member, Wanye Morris. Here's Please Don't Go. See you next week. It's the Hybrid Soul with Kelly Kincaid. Later. Peace.